Hola guys, it's me and Mr. Mike Ho. Yeah. Today we are headed over to what city are we in? Santa Fe Springs. Yes, yeah, California. Springs. I have no idea where that is located, man. But it's off the Five Freeway and Six Hundred Five somewhere. Yes. A lot of businesses are out here. Cool. We're actually headed to a place called Street Faction. Actually, headed. We're sitting here in front of them. Um, I want to show you guys a really sick shop. Really interesting people. I think you guys are gonna like this couple. They're they're the grinders, hustlers, mm. family. Oh, family. Oh, family. Family. Okay, let's see what's inside. <laughs> You have to say your name. Oh, my name's Tal. <laughs> Alright, let's start over real quick. <laughs> I didn't know he started yet. Yeah, I know, that's why. Oh. He's very good with that though. Very he is good. good. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt. I'm Tal. And we are the owners of Street Faction Engineering. This is... Our shop. This is our shop. <laughs> Everything is magic, so. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, it's on. Mike, oh, hey. Very <laughs> casual. All right, Tal, come with us. All right, Mike, let me show you the shop. So this is our manufacturing facility. We can take anything from raw materials and output it as a final product ready for coating. It can be tubing, it can be sheet metal. We'll cut it out on both our plasmas here, bend up the tube. You can check out, these are fresh off the CNC. This is all just off a of raw sheet. These are actually our L brackets for our seat bracket system. All right, now we're going over to our shipping receiving warehouse. This is something that we just expanded into the past year that came. We outgrew the first shop in about six months, so we needed more space. That's Daniel. Say hi, Daniel. Hey. He's our shipping guy, but he's moving up to do fabrication next. He handles all of the boxing, all of the shipping. Make sure all these carbon products get out to the customer safe. And if you look to your right, right behind you, he's built these products, or he's built these boxes for the products coming back from Powder Coat this week. And let's go next door. Go, Mike. Oh, no, right. so oh, nice. Enjoy yes. this. Enjoy this, Mike. Hey, our next order, we have to get one. They call it a zero gravity. Are you ready? Don't be scared. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Man. Productivity yeah, completely yeah, drops at the warehouse. Everyone's sleeping. All right, Mike, yeah, can you tell me good. how you feel today? There's a little... How do I feel? <laughs> Relax. Oh, yeah, check this out, too. Can you have your coffee right here? Shh. There you go. How do you get back? <laughs> how do you get back? Push <laughs> your down. Now you gotta try it. Okay. Ooh, okay, watch lean back. Lean back, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> This is how they empty my pockets right here. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my wallet down here. This is nice. Yeah. We should get this at home. I like this. It's really comfortable. I'm just it's gonna nice. go ahead and... Lee on your, on your chest. I know, right? I can breastfeed this way. Yup. <laughs> Help. Maybe I'll fall asleep. Just kick your legs down. Help. <laughs> Somebody. This is our R&D facility. So we'll bring cars in like this R32 or this FD to do product development, anything from seat brackets, chassis mount wings, uh, bash bars, heel plates. And this would be a sneak peek to our SEMA build this year. It's a 93S13 convertible. that we did a partial tube frame. And it's got a forged internal KA turbo at 15 pounds, making 350 horsepower. And don't look at me, Tal. <laughs> And then this is our small machining facility. So we've got a CNC lathe, a four axis CNC mill, and we can pretty much machine any material and any product out of a raw block. Show me I, your car. I got the show for free, and Matt and I, we built it in like three months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be for our YouTube channel, but he built it so fast that there was no content for it because it just. Yeah, her dad so was in Vietnam, so I only had a, a couple weeks to actually paint it. So I painted it in her garage. And then he built the engine. <laughs> Yeah, I built the engine, I did all the paint, we found all the pieces that I was missing, and now it's her, like, I don't know, pretty little drift car. Yeah, she's supposed to learn how to drift in this. What do you think, Mr. Michael? It's cool. It's cool. I've never been in a cool fabrication shop like this. Look at this. They have a very streetwear feel to it. Yeah. I like Millennials. It. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Ooh. 
Ooh, yeah, okay, cool. So, um, completely random day because these guys are really cool from Street Faction. Literally hit us up, talked about some business stuff, and I just wanted to drop by. They have sick cars there. They like drifting. They're young, they're entrepreneurs, and they're a couple. That's cool, dude. I just like the story so much I had to drop by with my Goals. Goals. We have to drop by. Their story is very similar to mine, so I wanted to drop by and just say hello and kind of check out their shop. But we actually might end up doing business together. Definitely not a paid endorsement, you guys. I know you guys are gonna smash the freaking comment section, but it's not. I just like helping local businesses out that hustle. Hustle. I like it. It's real. Y'all don't hustle hard enough. Free tail getting set up. It's a big ass shelf, man. Big ass shelf. The camera's on the floor. The bolts so is installed? The bolts are. Oh, well, yeah, as soon as you so, started it. So, you didn't it start will it. not start since the flywheel cannot move. Why not? So, because well, the race car. Because you have to pull off all the fucking spark plugs and stuff. So, what we need to do right now huh. is bump Jump. start it. I want to so bump start it. Yeah, you want to bump start it? Yeah. Let's do Can it. we bump start it in reverse? Alright, ready? Hopefully, we don't fuck this up. Attempt one. No, 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 okay, go for it. Aww. Fail. Are you, are you, is the ignition switch on? Okay. Okay, hang on, let us get a lot more speed first. I get no grip on this floor either. Okay, go. Not yet. Yeah. Turns on. Bumps are worked. Um, the, so the, the new starter, or the same starter is in with new bolts, the same uh, shing, um, shims, that's what they call them, shingles. The same shims are in. Um, so hopefully the flywheel is still in good condition. So I'm gonna warm it up for a little bit, then I'm gonna pull it in and shut it off and try to start it. If it doesn't start, then we'll try the whole looking for it. If it's internally or externally balanced in the flywheel, then we're gonna know how bad the flywheel is and what we need to do. Because it goes from like this amount of work to this amount of work if it's internally or externally balanced for the flywheel. We'll explain more of it as we go. Let me go for a spin. I haven't driven this in a while, but I figured the echo and the warehouse would sound really nice. Can we find out? Wait, wait, wait. Put the baby inside. Smells like race pre ninety six. <laughs> smells like bald sm eagles and whiskey. <laughs> smells like bald eagle and whiskeys and those small gloss. At least our neighbors across from us love us. Yeah, they're cool. Hell yeah, we gotta buy them like some cool shit. So that, like a like Budweiser, a hey, America, a bald, bald eagle and whiskey. And whiskey. You know, we went in there, man. They'd be listening to Mexican music. They need some modelos. Modelos, modelos y caronas, y tacos, caronas. Let's, let's check out this. Oh, want me to try to start it up? Try it, go. The moment of truth, let's Ooh. hope we don't die. Ready? Three, fingers crossed, let's go. Ah, okay. oh, fuck! Again. No, I don't. Again! Or just rock it. Again! Just rock it. Again! Ah, oh, we're fucked. How sad are you? You know what? I'd cry right now if I wasn't a man. <laughs> no, I'm good. It sucks, but at least we have a project. It's an old car, you guys remember. Old cars, lots of problems. Fine tune it, especially it wasn't our build, so we can't say it was done right. It's done pretty decent for what we got it for, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's good, so. Worst comes to worst, we have a destroyed nice. flywheel, and. Everything else is pretty much intact. Yeah. I mean, but for now, we got a really good looking paperweight. Yeah, really good looking paperweight. I mean, we can always just push start. Every day, just park at the okay, top of the so, hill so and jump in. Though. How are we going to fix this so that we can start it every day, Mike? Well, the guys were discussing and saying that the car, when it's warm, it starts up just fine. So using deductive reasoning and a hypothesis to... And Mike's to, Mike's reasoning. Oh, Mike's re Mike 2.0's yeah, reasoning. Yeah, this is his science. He's spent hours. He's spent weeks and he years on this. He has a whole thesis this. on this. That if you put, ra put race blankets on the car... It'll keep it warm. It'll keep it warm. For more boost on an NA motor. More boost. Yeah. Even though it's NA? Yeah. Yeah, and the turbo is like integrated inside the headers. Oh shit. And it's electronically controlled. 
Like an electronic supercharger. Yeah, and then we have AKA. a Carl sitting next to you making the sounds. Make the sound! <laughs> <laughs> We've all lost it. I lost it. But I'm going to say goodbye to the vlog today. We're going to get back to work. I'll keep you guys updated on another episode of Project 68. I don't fucking know what to call it. Anyways, we had fun today. Check out Street Faction in the meantime. And I will uh, get back to doing this and whatever the hell I do in life. I don't know. Peace out.